John Clellan Holmes was an American author, poet, and professor who was great friends with Jack Kerouac. Holmes was born March 12, 1926 in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He grew up in a number of locations in the northeastern United States and in California. Holmes was interested in from an early age and composed his first poem when he was 11 years old. He dropped out of Dwight Morrow High School in Inglewood, New Jersey and moved in with his mom in New York. He then took a job in the subscription department at Reader's Digest magazine. Holmes took some courses at Columbia University in 1943 and was drafted into the U.S. Navy Hospital's Corps in 1944. While in the Navy, he married Marion Meliambro, but they had no children. After his discharge in 1945, Holmes spent a year at Columbia using the GI Bill. While working a few jobs, his short story, T for Two, was published in the Neurotica magazine. He also met Jack Kerouac and Allen Ginsberg, who were two of the leading figures in the beat literary movement at a party, and the trio immediately hit it off. In the fall of 1949, Holmes attended New School for Social Research in New York with Kerouac and began to work on his first novel, which he titled The Daybreak Boys, which was published in 1952 under the title Go. His novel featured characters drawn from real life, including Neil Cassidy, Allen Ginsberg, and Jack Kerouac. Shortly before his novel was published, his first marriage had failed and he remarried to Shirley Allen. Holmes took a position as a lecturer at Yale. His second novel, The Horn, appeared in 1958. The Horn was linked to the beat movement and it sold well. His third novel, Get Home Free, appeared in 1964. Holmes then left in 1959 to pursue a professorship at Bowling Green State University. Holmes was promoted as a full-time professor in 1980 at the University of Arkansas. Following the 1967 publication of Nothing More to Declare, which was a set of topical essays on the subjects from the sexual revolution to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Holmes then shifted to poetry. He published The Bowling Green Poems in 1977 and Death Drag Select Poems in 1979. His last publication was Visitor, Jack Kerouac and Old Soybrook in 1981. Holmes received numerous awards including two Playboy Best Notification Awards, a Guggenheim Fellowship, and the New Letters Alexander Kaplan Prize. Holmes fought cancer for a year and then died in Old Soybrook, Connecticut in 1988. I think he loved Dr. Sachs because he loved his boyhood. Uh, I think he knew that there are stretches of Visions of Cody which were, which as prose are unparalleled in American literature since Melville. No one had used the English language with such range, in my view, since Herman Melville in American literature. There are sections in that book, particularly towards the end, that are as awesome as organ chords. You don't believe that language can do this. The reason for it, English was not Jack's primary language. He grew up speaking French. French was the language of the home. Whenever I saw him with his mother, they, they conversed in French. So he was particularly sensitive in a way that people who, who, who grow up speaking English uh, to the possibilities of the English language.